welcome to my channel. My name is Jolie, and um, this is the series where uh, we're learning a, a Course in Miracles. So it's a foundation for inner peace and um, to change our perception of everything and everyone. That's the overall aim of the course. Um, today we're on lesson 55. It's a review period um, where we devote two minutes or more to each practice period, thinking about the ideas and related comments after reading them over, and then do this as often as possible during the day. Um, lesson 55 is on page 89, if you're following along, 89 and 90. Um, it goes over uh, ideas 21 through 25. Uh, like I said, this is reviewing these ideas that are um, already chronologically um, completed, um, can go uh, I, I encourage you to subscribe so that you can be notified when um, each new video is, is uploaded. Um, and then share this also or like so that it can um, pass over to people who can um, benefit from this content and find these videos. So um, here we go. I'll go ahead and start um, lesson 55. Um, today's review includes the following. 21, quote, I am determined to see things differently. Again, I am determined to see things differently. Uh, this is the explanation. What I see now are but signs of disease, disaster, and death. This cannot be what God created for God's beloved people. The very fact that I see things is proof that I do not understand God. Therefore, I also do not understand um, his people. And what I see tells me that I do not know who I am. I am determined to see the witnesses to the truth in me rather than those which show me an illusion of myself. Number 22, uh, this is, um, quote, what I see is a form of vengeance. Again, what I see is a form of vengeance. The world I see is hardly the representation of loving thoughts is a picture of attack on everything and every everyone. Um, it is anything but a reflection of the love of God and the love of God's people. It is my own attack thoughts that give rise to this picture. My loving thoughts will save me from this perception of the world and give me the peace God intended me to have. Number 23. Quote, I can escape from this world by giving up attack thoughts. Again, I can escape this world by giving up attack thoughts. Herein lies salvation and nowhere else. With it, without attack thoughts, I could not see a world of attack, as forgiveness allows love to return to my awareness. I will see a world of peace and safety and joy. And it is this I choose to see in place of what I look at now. Number 24, quote, I do not perceive my own best interests. Again, I do not perceive my own best interests. How could I recognize my own best interests when I do not know who I am? What I think are my best interests would merely bind me closer to the world of the illusions. I am willing to follow the guide God has given me to find out what my own best interests are, recognizing that I cannot perceive them by myself. Number 25, quote, I do not know what anything is for. Again, I do not know what anything is for. Explanation here, to me, the purpose of everything is to prove that my illusions about myself are real. It is for this purpose that I attempt to use everyone and everything. It is for this that I believe the world is for. So therefore I do not recognize its real purpose. The purpose I have given the world has led to a frightening picture of it. Let me open my mind to the world's real purpose by withdrawing the one I have given it and learning the truth about it. So I encourage you to uh, repeat this video as often as possible that you need to today um, so that you can review this if you don't have the workbook um, and um, consider considering these lessons and ideas. 
So here we go. Thank you very much. And I will see you tomorrow.